Hey guys, welcome back to another clip of Schach Manuel Lernen. Today with a puzzle streak on chess.com. So the rules of puzzle streak on chess.com are slightly different to the one on lead chess. Here you can make three mistakes until you're out. Uh, black moves is a knight. And now we can capture here. And it's a checkmate because bishop protects the queen. And here we see the rating of the puzzle that we solved. And yeah, it's my first one on my Schach Manuel Lernen account. So that's why I'm quite curious how good I will be. Uh, here we have a back rank checkmate in one move. Here with white it's the same thing, like back rank, but um, on the other side of the board. Here we can capture the pawn and then we have a double attack and win the rook afterwards. Um, here we have back rank mate again. This time it's a checkmate in two because we give a check, queen captures and rook captures. Uh, here is checkmate in one because bishop is protecting queen again. And as you see here on the right side, they always get uh, a bit harder, a bit more challenging, you can say so. Uh, here's checkmate in one again, because this time the knight is protecting. Um, here we can give a check with queen. King has to go back in the corner. And then we can give a check. Rook captures, rook captures, rook captures. And at the end, our second rook captures, and then there's a, another back rank checkmate. Um, it's tougher because you need more moves than by the previous puzzles. Um, here we have a checkmate in one again, because knight is protecting. So basically at the beginning, it's mostly like in one or two moves. Um, here as well, the king has no escape squares. So when we deliver here a check, it's game over immediately for him. Um, here we can give a check, like we always look out for checks first. And then he needs to go to b8, we capture here. He needs to go to a8 and then we make here a checkmate. Here, this is yeah, a beautiful checkmate because the king is surrounded by his own pieces, but one single knight um, can deliver a checkmate. Here is the queen and the king on one line, so when we move the rook here, the queen is pinned, and then we just simply win the queen. Doesn't matter which move he does. Um, here, because of dark square bishop, we realize that he can't move here, the king. So when we give here a check, he has to put something between. So he can sacrifice the bishop, we capture, sacrifice the other bishop, capture there, so it's a checkmate in three. One, two, and three. Um, here again. The king can't escape from the h-file due to the rook on g4. So we can give here a check, we capture and he just sacrifice all of the pieces but at the end he still got checkmated. Um, this one here is first one that is a bit tougher because we have to check out for um, two variations. Um, one is either capturing here with the pawn and then you have to calculate on h3 what happens because if we capture here, he captures here, then at the end we win a pawn. Um, but yeah, I guess we can, like that's one thing, we win a pawn, 
the other idea is we capture capture and then on this move here um, if you place G3 we capture here um, but yeah it's not the yellow of the egg because he can just play Queen F3 um, if we capture here he plays A3 um, do we have something better? Ah, okay, yeah. We can capture here. If he plays a3, we can capture with a check. So he needs to recapture. And then we capture the bishop. And at the end, we won one knight. And that's the solution of the problem. Sometimes the system, when, it's, when you play the move, the system realizes that you made the correct calculation. But you have to do the calculation, of course, before and not just try out the moves. Um, here, when we check which squares the king has, it's only this one here. And this one we can take away with a bishop check, so it's immediately checkmate. Um, here we can give a check. He needs to go to back rank and giving a checkmate after sacrificing the queen because this pawn here is really strong because he captures these two squares okay queen b1 um, here we have a checkmate in one the pawn is protecting these squares the bishop this one and protects the rook as well um, here we can give a check then he goes here, then we have here another check with bishop and now it's kind of like this triangle, like he goes here and both the bishop and the rook are looking on this square and then it's a checkmate if we capture here. Um, here <coughs> Like we see already, we are by 20. Um, and here is the idea that we can give, always checking for checks first. Um, we can give a check, he needs to go there. And afterwards we can capture the rook. He recaptures and then we have rook e1 checkmate because the king is attacked and the knight is protecting the rook. Uh, sorry, first this check, then this check, and then this check. So far, so good. Uh, here we can give here a check. The king can't escape due to the knight. So when we play this one, he needs to go there, and then we have here a check, and then we have here a checkmate. Um, here it's about removing defender. This rook is once attacked and once defended. And we can remove the knight by capturing here. He's forced to recapture, doesn't matter with pawn or queen. And then in the next move we win the rook. Okay, he captures here, but that's just another exchange. Um, here it's about not trust your intuition. Intuitive, we would capture here either with rook or queen. But again, we have here a check on f7. It's protected from the rook, even though it's pinned. And that means he has to go there. We can take the rook, he will sacrifice the queen, and then we can capture the queen with a checkmate. Okay. Um, here we have a d8, a check. His only move is to bring his rook there, and then we give a check on this diagonal 
and because the rook here is pinned, he can't move it up. So he has to go to h8 and then we just capture on f8 with a checkmate. And you need to learn first the single patterns, like every single pattern a bit. And then the harder the puzzle are they combining the patterns. It's kind of like when you learn a language, you need to learn first the words because before you can make phrases. Um, here... We have queen d3, uh, takes away all of this squares. It's protected from the pawn, so the king can't capture. He needs to go to e1, and then we have the knight who delivers the checkmate at the end. Um, here we have two options, either capture here or capture here. Um, in this situation, it's stronger to capture here because we want to use uh, this pin that we have. So if we capture here, we have to have at the same time a fork. And let's say we capture, capture, capture. It's a check. Then we won already a piece, and at the end we win another piece. So we're winning two pieces. If he captures here, here, then we can also capture here. And then this knight here is twice protected. So if he captures everything, it's just an exchange. That's why we capture here. He sacrificed the knight with a check, recapture. And now, when we will capture, at the end, we are a bishop up on the board. Um, here it's about a pawn raise. Like, his idea is to go down here, and my idea is to go up there. So we should start running. Capture, capture, capture. And then when he moves there, we move. Like, we run. And his one move faster, but we can capture here, like we can sacrifice the rook for his queen. He recaptures and we play f8 and have a queen. And if we play that and he tries to go out of this pin, then we capture, capture, and then we are faster than him. So that's why you play this one, this one. Now just run, run, run. And system realizes that we made the correct conclusions. Um, here, this one is now a bit trickier. Um, here, we need to win a rook. And for that, you need to be a bit creative with um, thinking of how the queen moves. So here it's several moves. So if we give a check here, we attack the king and at the same time the rook. Which means if he goes to one of these squares, we simply capture the rook and we have a winning endgame. That's variation one to calculate. Second one is queen b3, rook c3. And then we check again for checks. And when we have this one here on c1, d1, excuse me, um, he can't go to these squares. So he's forced to go to the square where the rook was before. And then we have here a check. The pawn protects the queen. And, that, and finally we have this double attack on king and rook. So this puzzle I would call the dance of the queen. Let me give a check. Here a check. 
here a check. Well, um, here we need to use all of our pieces. So bishop c2 attacks the king and he doesn't have a lot of options to defend it. So we place this one, then we can capture, capture, capture. He needs to go to h8, we can capture on h6. He protects the checkmate, then we go back to f6. It's a check, only move is queen and then we have here a checkmate. Um, here we have the possibility of capturing his queen, he can capture our queen, um, and then it's kind of uh, just a trade at the end. So we need to find out how we win material. Um, if we capture here, his pin is quint, pinned, so capture capture, capture, and then at the end his bishop is attacked, so he needs to move his bishop, and then at the end we're a knight up. Here it really looks like a checkmate, um, to protect this square, the bishop this one, Bishop this one, knight this one, knight this one. So he has one square left. And yeah, intuitive, I would go for this check. And because of what we checked before, he has to go here. Because the knight has now this square, but this square not anymore. And after that, we can deliver a checkmate. Uh, here we have a checkmate in one because the rook is protecting these squares. Here the bishop is pinned. That's why we can't just capture there. Um, but here we can distract this rook. So we can play rook f1 check. If he captures we capture here with the double attack and at the end we lose the rook here but we win these two pieces and if he doesn't capture, if he moves the king away we simply win the rook and that's way enough. Now he gets a check but now we can escape on h8. Um, here, like what first comes to my mind is this one, but here is a bit the problem that he can, I guess, escape there. Um, queen trade we don't want because he has an entire rook more at the moment. Um, so another check is this one. The king can't escape to these squares, so on this check he needs to go there. And yeah, then we have here a checkmate, because the queen is protecting these squares, she's protecting the bishop, the bishop is protecting this square, this bishop, this square, and the same bishop protects the pawn. Okay, um, here we check for checks first. So this one, you can either capture or play this. So I guess that's not the solution. Um, this one doesn't make sense because it's not a check and we're just material-wise completely down. Um, then we have this one. 
and when he recaptures uh, we can give here a check and then yeah he needs to capture with the rook and then we can go to back rank rook goes back and then we can capture the rook with a checkmate um, I will stop here afterwards like I will continue for myself but um, yeah kind of you saw the idea how it works and I will put it in few different timestamps and that you can see which one suits you for the best for you so with this words I wish you a wonderful weekend enjoy it and have awesome chess games